22 years ago, husband and wife Koshi and Mohan Patel opened a vegetarian deli in Bradford called Prashad, selling everything from homemade laddus to samosas. I got a very, very good relationship with my own customers many years, and they're so happy with my food. They like it. Some are the very regular. Over 2,000 Indian nominations, I've chosen what I think are the best two to fight it out for a place in the semi finals. Tonight, from Bradford, the curry capital of the north, it's Prashad. Some years later, their son Bobby joined the business and they opened a veggie restaurant. And tonight, they're in the semi finals of Gordon Ramsay's latest food contest as the UK's best Indian. Bobby says it's been a roller coaster ride since they first appeared on the telly. The minute the show started, the phones never stopped ringing. We stopped our deli. We increased our uh, seating by 80, making us a full 40 seat restaurant. We had to take a little unit in across the road for our customers to continue to pick up their takeaways. All in all, our headcount at the moment has gone up at least 70%. And we're still recruiting. We're looking for key people in the kitchen. We're uh, training front of house. Masala dosas, two chat, one pitties, uh, table number two. Okay, this is why you need to make masala dosa sack. The powerhouse in the kitchen is Bobby's wife and head chef, Meenal. After Gordon Ramsay's competition, we are explosive. We are very, very busy. We, anywhere we go, people recognize us. It's uh, surprising. What's it been like working with Gordon Ramsay? Because he does shout a lot, doesn't he? Yeah, yeah. It's a good experience. It's a lifetime achievement for us. And he's out when people do wrong. Shahid Rasool lectures in entrepreneurship at Bradford University and says when the spotlight and cameras disappear, so can your business if it's expanding too fast. Can you look at yourself and look at your business and say, is this still true to the ideals and values that we started from? And do we still have a link with some of those customers who've you know supported us, has helped us grow? The key really is not to make hasty decisions, just make long-term decisions, really to focus on who you are, what you're about. But Bobby says they're confident that that's not going to happen to them. We were here before the cameras for 22 years and we'll be here after the cameras. They've introduced more customers. We're not worried about it being a flash in the pan. We're more worried about how are we going to possibly be able to cope with the person who came in, told four friends, and now those four friends want to come in. So it's actually a growing demand as opposed to just the flash.